I'm 6'4", 193 centimeters. I'm not even close to touching the top of this thing. Not even close. You could drive a damn fire truck in here and it really wouldn't be a big deal. This garage is freaking huge and I still can't believe it's actually mine. It, it is, you know? I, I am like on another planet right now. Yeah, it's freaking gigantic. It's a two-bay garage, guys. It's freaking huge. So about that fire truck. Rip your network if lightning strikes anywhere nearby. What? Big enough. I'm surprised there's no echo. It's the insulation, guys. I got R24 insulation on the sides and R48 on the roof. The acoustics in here are nuts. You could record in here, no problem. Like... Can you hear any reverb? There's no echo. There's nothing. If your service is Ethernet from Verizon, what's the coax for? The coax is for the extenders. He ran he ran out of the ONT, ran coax for the extenders. What about the bridge port? I'm thinking the bridge port can go probably over there somewhere. We'll put it next to the 3D printers. <laughs> when we when we get one when we get one <laughs> SpaceX is live sweet. All right guys. I'm gonna switch this over to SpaceX coverage here and then we'll call it a night, huh? Let me switch this over to sign tech. Oh God, I'm gonna puke uh, and then let me uh, give me one second, okay? You're gonna have to stare at my mug, my ugly mug, for a moment here. Okay, that should be good, and we should just boop. Yeah, fellas, this is off Wi-Fi, which is crazy. Yeah, reboot. You're probably right. I'll be right back. One second, okay? While this is while this is loading up, give me one moment. I'm back. It's not chair cam no more, dudes. It's couch cam. You sleeping in the house tonight? Yeah, we moved in on Saturday, Arsenal. Yeah. Sleep right here, dude. Fall asleep right now. No, you're not watching me sleep. Sorry. I'm weird, but I ain't that weird. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, Arsenal. I can't believe we have this, dude. Scrot, I don't... I don't know what you ask. I'm only sleeping. Stream win. Yeah, no, never, Koza. I have, my standards are low, but they're not that low. <laughs> they're, they're, they're not that low, dude. My standards are low, but we ain't that bad. From Mrs. Victory, sleep stream. How's the moving? Jackal. Look at this. 
I'm streaming in my damn garage, and I'm streaming next to a, my, my damn car. What do you think, dog? You know it's not officially your house till you take a leak in the backwoods. How did you know that that's what I was doing? How's the lumbar support on this couch? I've fallen asleep on this couch in the apartment many times. Brimo hates it, so it's now garage furniture. Is that a Tesla? No. <laughs> no. No, I have a couch in the garage. This is in the garage, dudes. Oh, we got plenty of couches in the house. It's fine. <sighs> Dude, I could fall asleep right here. No problem. Oh, yeah. Fall asleep in my garage. Just bought this new Lamborghini here. It's fun to drive up in the Hollywood Hills. Do a kickflip? Nah. Nah, we tried doing that a little bit earlier. Alex, what's going on, man? Nice couch. The couch is nice, dude. But what do you think of my high bay? That's pretty neat. I think we should call this garage high bay one. Where's the RGB? What? Lots of Z-axis. Chew on this. You get it. High Bay 1. Yeah, spelled B-A-E. How about Man Cave 1? Yeah. There's some pink cotton candy. Oh. Oh, let's eat it. Yeah, it'll be good for you. More like a mid-bay? Why don't you just take me down a pig or two, dude? Damn. And in a high bay until you put up a gantry. Where's, what's SpaceX up to? Mike is saturating on the top end. Yeah, it's a webcam mic, dude. I threw this streaming setup together real quick. Yeah, we're still waiting for SpaceX, huh? Yeah, no, guys, that's just, it's just forbidden cotton candy. They static fired booster seven on one engine today and they static fired ship 24 on three engines, which is pretty freaking cool. We saw both of them here on this stream prop loading currently. Thanks, Dev. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Automobili Lamborghini SPA is a wholly owned subsidiary of Audi AG, which is a wholly owned... Yeah, it's Volkswagen. I'm a, I'm a Ferrari fan, dude. So, you know, Lamborghini's all fine and dandy, but I really like having a really fast car and then coming in last place in the race. That's my favorite thing to do because I'm a Ferrari fan. Mamma mia. <laughs> you know. How's the heat on your side of the country? It's been... Artyom, it's been above 95 every day this week ouch <laughs> ouch okay but what happened if you actually eat insulation uh eating that brie is probably it's fiberglass so um it would be like basically eating a chainsaw blade yeah only on a much smaller scale more like eating a dremel maybe while it's spinning yeah it's not good yeah, we're at 95% humidity today, Artyom. I had a My Summer Car style thunderstorm come through. Brimo, so that's fiberglass. So it's small strands of glass, right? And it's a very good insulator. But yeah, you don't... It would be like, like putting a blender in your lungs or your stomach. It's not good for you. Supposed to get cooler through the week? Right, right on, Scrote. You're a wee bit soggy. Oh, dude, this is... I am sweating like crazy. You can see, look. Like, see see this shirt? This is the color that the shirt's supposed to be. I am sweating my balls off right now. But you know what? It's okay. Yeah, you don't want to eat fiberglass, Bree. That's probably bad. You didn't pick up your phone. No. No. 
Low grade asbestos, yeah. Here, you know what? What was the purpose of the static fires? Test the plumbing out, weather guy, from what I understand. Oh, did SpaceX pull it? Yo, they might be scrubbing, dudes. The winds might not be good enough. Let me give it a refresh. We'll see what happens. Yeah, Jim, that is a really good, that's a really good point. I'm sweating my balls off in my garage, man. Hey, Spiffy, thanks for the, thanks for the gifted sub, guys. You're too kind. Nothing hurt so far, Dev? All right, cool. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should sit up straight. <laughs> maybe I'll sit up straight from now on, dude. Well said, Vortex, yeah. Still loading and counting. All right, cool, cool. Do we know if the ship lost any tiles? LJ, I actually didn't see any tiles come off, dude, but I'm looking at it on a small screen. How many times have you said here in my garage? Shadow Wolf Remo is my fiance. Yeah, she's sitting in the house right now watching the stream and probably laughing at me. SpaceX is live, Seven. All right, let me take a look. Here in my garage. Just bought this new Lamborghini here. It's fun to drive in the Lamborghini Lamborghinis. Oh, yeah, here we go. All right, let me get the tunes, tunes up. There we go. Your garage is your house. Oh, Shadow, I got you, I got you. <laughs> Definitely laughing, yeah. What do you mean, probably? Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Quick last. Alex, I can't do last here, dude. I have one monitor on the laptop. I can't do last up in here. Peterden, whoa, long time no see, man. How are you? <sighs> Gotta have Gatorade and electrolytes. How much time left? The launch should be in about 10 minutes. Hey, MC, what's going on? Yeah, Alex, I saw it. Kind of Gatorade? This is Berry Gatorade Zero. T minus six minutes, roughly. Okay, it's 4 a.m. Yeah, Hunter, we should be getting here soon. Uh, we should be getting in here soon. Here, prepare to fast forward. Preparing to fast forward. Fast forwarding, sir. Fast forwarding. S1 fueling complete, got it. Cat jam, cat jam. When is this? Soon. When will then be now? Soon, soon. Are we still fast forward? Yeah, we are. Oh, there we go. There we go, we're caught up. Oh boy. Chad, I'm gonna Chad, I'm gonna go out and get some cigarettes. I'll be right back. Countdown net pad is clear. Ten, nine, eight. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. 
man, he never comes back. Why isn't it showing? Hold on. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. You guys see that all right? Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing Alex, lights I didn't see what you tied to get, dude. I'm and Falcon 9 has landed. You're going to have to watch a launch without EJ. Hey, my pick. Good evening. You are see tuning this? in to the 55th Starlink now? mission set to launch from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The teams are currently tracking Pretty no dope, right? issues with the vehicle or spacecraft. Weather is also looking good, and range are both green for liftoff. So we are proceeding with a T zero at 10:14 p.m. Eastern Dang, time. Again. Now let's follow along as Falcon 9 prepares to launch another 52 Starlink satellites into space. All right, dude, we got a Starlink mission here. Now you can see on your screen the clamp arms cam? on that transporter no. erector are opening Donald, up. The this transporter camera erector is, literally is that on structure a, next to the vehicle. It will start to retract here on shortly. That's on a desk chair mount. And it's very slow and slight, but you can see yep. it moving away from the vehicle there. The TE retracts away from the vehicle even more at liftoff, and that clears screen. away for Ooh, Falcon boy. 9 as it Stage lifts one, off. Lock complete. And a good call out there with stage one locks load complete. That. I don't really have the screen real estate that I use. Next event do. coming up will be locks stage one load, lock load completion is complete. All right, boys, let's watch a let's watch a rocket launch, launch man. Mark. First rocket launch, first Falcon launch in the new digs, man. Are you ready? The last one, in, the last one was KPLO. We watched KPLO from the from the apartment. Yeah, Entropy, I'm going to make this, this, We're this is a seat from a Supra, a Mark III Supra. Locks load completion I'm going on to second take this stage seat and make it into a driving rig. Concludes. The Falcon KPLO 9 vehicle will sick, be fully Alex. loaded with Turn 1 the million pounds of fuel off. and liquid okay. oxygen. Oh, why? Why are you doing this? Goddamn touchpad. Give me one second, dudes. Stage two, lock load. Okay, we're caught up. Stage two, locks loaded. And is there's that call out. Fuel loading is now complete on Falcon 9. Turn Today up the marks quality. the third right, flight man. for the first stage that you see on the screen. And as usual, we will send it. Stage two, lock load complete. And we're there's now, that call out. Fuel loading is now complete on Falcon 9. Today marks the third flight for the first stage that you see on the screen. And as usual, we will be attempting to recover on our drone ship a shortfall of Gravitas today. And if successful, it will mark our 35th first stage. There's the T-Event, so they're getting all the fuel out of here. the transporter erector. Now, as a quick update, Starlink is now available in 37 countries around the world. We also wanted to share a quick update from Bukanu, Minu so County fast? in Northern Arizona, which is leading the effort to bring Starlink to Navajo Nation students. Last year, we shared that about 45 homes were using beta, the beta version of Starlink. And since then, the county identified... The county identified Come on, catch up. There we go. Identified more students with inadequate or no Starlink, no internet connection, and about 150 homes in the area are now connected LD, and go using go the launch. service. Launch director reports go for launch, dudes. New and launch. We had a great call first out. launch in the new LD digs, dude. is go for launch. Here so let's go. watch as the Falcon 9 vehicle carries the Starlink satellites into no, no. space. It's a seat from a car, dude. You're not a car seat for a baby. This is a seat from a Supra. T minus 30 seconds. 30 seconds in, all right. We should get a terminal count here. <laughs> Chatter, you guys good? First launch in the new digs, dudes. New digs, we got the Mustang here to enjoy the launch with us. Look at that thing. Ah, it's ready to go. It wants to go fast. Falcon 9 wants to go fast. Let's do this. Six, five, four, three, Sound suppressor is on. Ignition. Got a good ignition, and here we go. First launch in the new Falcon. place, man. That's great. Send it. Okay. 
Falcon 9 is pitching down range. Okay, we got a pitch over. My eyes pick. Stand by for the call for nominal power and telemetry. Vehicle has begun to pitch over. 30 seconds in, everything looks good. Now, hired. We'll, we'll find out. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 39. Uh, that looks good. Everything looks good here. And we are throttling down those engines in preparation for max Q, that is maximum dynamic Shut pressure. Crazy dime. Da, 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 da. Falcon is now supersonic. Vehicle supersonic, stand by for the call for maximum dynamic great pressure. Call out oh, look Falcon at it go through the clouds. Oh, that's cool. That Did means you that see it drop the rim? Oh, the that's sick. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you. That was and sick, we've dude. Also Did you see it drop the rim? That was freaking, freaking awesome, dude. Okay, she's through maximum dynamic pressure. Supersonic. Is that a supra? Oh, that was We're just sick. Hey, about a minute sick, away man. from a few events happening back to back. That Turn is event back chill. Miko or that main engine cut off. Air stage separation. Gets highly compressed on the front of the vehicle, one and then it decompresses really, really, really fast. It makes crazy rings of condensation. Oh, it's normal. literally the same thing. If you like, if you if you main hit it, you like hit it from time to time. You blow rings. Same exact idea. M1D engines on the first stage, and that helps slow the vehicle down. Idea. It's close, but it's not exactly like that. Yep, you're getting a good aero spike Once effect the first and second there. stages separate Stand from each other, go. stage one will make its way back to Earth for landing, and stage two will continue on I'll its see journey. What I can. I'll see what I can do, Alex, yeah. And just a few first seconds after SES-1, we We're will have fair deploy as well. <sighs> okay, we should be getting to main engine We're just a few seconds shot, away from man. those few events. Oh, it never gets old. I back. love this stuff. All right, you should see a little puff of smoke. There's main engine cutoff there. Stand by for the stage separation here. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm back in the It hits a little different in your garage now, doesn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Stiffener ring step looked really good. Stand by for the fairing pop, and boop, there it goes. Look. You can see all of Florida. Look at the left camera. And there you can you see Orlando. That's Mika, that big white. That's cutoff, that big light area in the center. You can see Orlando. You can see Tampa. Right you can see Daytona Beach. Look at that. Now glowing oh, bright that is red. so cool. On your left hand screen is a view of the first stage as it makes its way back down to Earth. And we also did see Look at, you can see all of Central of Florida. You can see of all of the I-4 corridor maps. right there. That's insane. What a shot, man. This mission marks not only the third flight for the first stage booster, but also the third flight for each of the fairing halves that you saw Is there some lightning the down there? Stage. I can't see it, Ender. It's too small on my screen. Hopefully you guys can see it better than I can. You can see where it's storming where you live? Unbelievable. Both stages are on nominal trajectories. Everything's on nominal trajectory from the GNC guy. Jackal, we had a, uh, today in Massachusetts, we had a four o'clock thunderstorm because Florida just decided to import its weather up here. Acquisition of signal through the Bermuda ground tracking station. Thank you, Devlin. First stage has a one, 133 so far, everything going is up. looking good for both vehicles on nominal trajectories. We are right in front of me. just really a matter. couple of minutes away Florida can have from this weather back. I don't know, Vortex. I, I went to college in Florida. Just a couple I minutes away like it, from man. the entry burn on the first stage. That is the it, next <laughs> step for first stage as it makes its way back uh, down boy. to our landing zone today is a short fall of Gravitas. The entry burn is where three of the nine M1D engines reignite and helps to slow the vehicle okay, down as it like enters got back into the Earth's 135 kilometer apogee. You saw it from Tampa, Ren Ren? Awesome, dude. <laughs> we saw you, man. Yeah, 135 kilometer apogee. That's pretty standard for a Starlink launch. Did I say standard? Standard. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> And what you're seeing on your screen is a view of the MVAC engine on the Pretty second standard, stage. Still looking good on there. nominal trajectory. 
Third Today play we for are those sending bearings. 52 Great. Starlink That's satellites cool. to Leo or low Earth down, and it's going orbit. To and as a reminder, this is our 55th overall Starlink mission man. and 21st Starlink mission just this year. I went to college in Ann Arbor, Michigan, the big U, big house, big piles of snow. Yep, give me that accent. He said it, Coggins. Coggins, dude. He freaking said it, that guy. I'm thinking of flying down there on Friday. Can you see the launch on the beach? Uh, Cocoa Beach? Yeah, absolutely, Den. Or Dem, yeah, Just you about a minute can. away from the entry burn beginning on the first stage. Something pretty cool to note is that after the entry burn, the atmosphere scrubs most of the velocity on the first stage, so it really only needs the entry burn and just a few seconds before landing Why a single engine burn, which is the landing burn. burn. Now, That's that guy. center E9 engine. That's powerful enough to slow the stage so down like in order to touch down time. on its landing zone. Again, today is a shortfall of Gravitas. Come on, burn that first stage. Will Starship need any stiffener rings? Negative. No, altimeter, no. The SpaceX is designing it to make sure that that doesn't happen. All right, so we should see the burn happening right about 6.30. So give it a second. Uh, 15 seconds, give or take. So what those vents that you see there are them the chilling down the engines startup. and thermally conditioning them Stage for one. that yeah, right there. We got first day. We got a one engine ignition and they got rid of it. And we did hear that call out for entry oh, burn beginning is. on the first stage. Yep, everything looks good there. There you could see it There's live the supersonic on your left hand screen. Again, this is three of the nine. So M1D what's going on there with Falcon 9 is it's it's not only using its engines. Seconds. If you look at the bottom left corner, you see Falcon 9 is decelerating, right? Stage one entry burn shut down. Okay, the entry burn is also the heat shield. They're using the gases coming out and from the rocket engines to be the heat shield the of the stage. rocket. It's really freaking cool. Oh, uh, look at the entry heating. Phenomenal. Oh, plasma accumulation on the grid fins. Everything's well, still looking good neat. for the trajectory well, of the that's first stage. Neat. You heard that oh, call out. great. What a now, treat. Now, we're just about 45 seconds or so away Ready from the, the landing burn on the first stage. Look at that. So what you're seeing there is plasma accumulating on the grid fins. The grid fins are basically hitting the atmosphere so ridiculously hard that they're compressing the air so much that the air is actually heating up to a point where it actually ionizes and, the and burn it turns into plasma. Up, That's what that we light will accumulation also on the grid fins is. Seco, it's plasma second engine cut off one which is really, on the second really stage around cool. the same How do we around the same flat? time plasma. as landing Ma. of stage one. Plasma. So you may hear those call outs you got it, happening Aqua. at That's the same cool, time. Man. Okay, first stage is five kilometers off the ground. We should get the entry burn here, or the landing burn here in a moment. Should have good video because of a shortfall of gravitas. Right on, nervous. Thank you. Plasma with an H at the end. Ma. Stage one landing burn. Okay, we got a landing burn from the booster officer there. And we heard that call out for stage oh, one landing burn. Come on, there. You can see now on your look at this picture. Screen. On your right hand screen is a shortfall of gravitas. Let's watch as Falcon 9 attempts Through to land clouds. on our drone ship today. Where's the drone ship? Oh. Stage one landing light deploy. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at that, man. Stage one landing confirmed. And great news. You can see stage one has touched down. There's a little windy out on the drone ship tonight, dude. Look at how far it is off center. The wind blew it in one direction. This marks the 135th landing of our Not orbital bad. class Not bad. That rocket. was great. Dude, that also was... Also heard oh. that Seco 1 and a nominal deployment, orbital oh, deployment. that was awesome. That never gets old, man. Signal, Newfoundland. Okay, I got a signal for Newfoundland. Oh, dude, it shot up the business end of the first stage there. You so see that? as you heard, we did have a good second engine Spin cutoff. So stage Roger. two is now carrying uh, 52 Starlink so satellites cool, into dude. low Earth sorry, orbit. That's... With confirmation of second stage engine we cutoff, we are going to end the webcast for today. Thanks for joining no, us, and be sure to check out to okay. SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy, and we'll see you next time. All right, dudes. Well, we had a booster static fire today. 
of what single engine booster static fire we had a starship three engine fire and we have a very nominal falcon 9 mission that's it yeah astro we're good spacex keeps those casts really short nowadays 33 to 4 by 227 nominal orbit insertion you probably saw but did you see bps yeah of course dude my pick, I, I, dude, props to Joe, man. He's very good. Rewind for the smoke rings. <laughs> Rewind for the smoke rings. Okay. Okay. All right. You're right. I got to see, see them smoke rings. Here. Nope. There we go. All right. Watch. Watch, so condensation is going to form from the from the air on the front of the fairing, um, hitting the top of the fairing and pressurizing, and then depressurizing. Really, oh, 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 dude, oh, <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, my goodness. And he plans to cover the Vandenberg launch this Friday. We could probably hook it up, dude. Did you see that? I got to see that one more time. Hold on. Back that up. One more time. One more time. <laughs> that's so freaking cool, man. Oh, that's so legit. I love it. I love it. Here, here. One more time in slow motion. Oh, wait. Back it up one more. Back it up a little bit more. Oof. Let's see it. Oh, that is so freaking cool, man. It was a Saturn flight. It had rings. Indeed. Oh, that's so cool. It's a freaking perfect ring. Oh, man, that that's cool. How's that, huh? Pretty good shot. Looks like onion rings. That's so cool. What the heck? I'm telling you, man. What exactly is happening there? Okay, so, visual. The rocket is entering into the transonic regime. So, that's something where you get between, like, 700 and 1,000 miles an hour, basically. So, that's, like, uh, I don't know, like... 1300 to 1600 kph somewhere around there what's going on is that you get the air compressing on the front of the rocket so the air is hitting the rocket right it's hitting the rocket at extremely high speed it hits the front of the fairing and it compresses when it compresses when it slides off the side of the fairing right it decompresses really really fast you get high compression to decompression really really quick and what happens when you go from really high pressure to really low pressure you get uh you get condensation. The condensation is what happens, um, which is really, really cool. It's a really cool phenomenon. Um, I don't know the exact name of it, but that's what's going on. You're getting really, really, you're getting um, high to low pressure, which is really, really cool. It makes those condensation clouds, which is actually really freaking cool, man. Yeah, they're called a vapor cone. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You got it, Donald. Yep, yep. Yeah. It's really, really neat. You, Visceral, you can see this effect happening on, uh, like, Formula One cars at very high speed in the, right, in the right atmospheric conditions. Now, you don't see those rings all the time. The reason why you don't see those rings all the time is because, once again, so Mach, the speed of sound is very, 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 very much dependent on humidity, temperature, and pressure. It very, very much depends. So Mach 1 down here might not be Mach 1 at 30,000 feet. That's very different. Because the atmospheric conditions up at 30,000 feet are very different. The, the, the pressure up there is different. And because the pressure is different and you're flying through a fluid gas, right, the, the temperature is different, right? And because the temperature is different, the, I mean, obviously the humidity in the air is going to be very different, right? Not to be confused with shock cones. Yeah, those are two different things. That's right. So, yeah, it's really cool. When Falcon 9 gets into this transonic regime, which is like 0.8 to 1.2 Mach, uh... Yeah, some strange stuff starts happening. You get some really weird decompression. Higher up would be equal to lower pressure. That's right. Yep, yep. Yeah, pretty cool though, huh? Not bad. 
Not a bad way to christen this new garage, man. Pretty good. Are you going to go to are you going to go down to the Caper Artemis 1? It really depends on how settled I am with the move Darkstone. It really depends. I'm going to try to and even if it takes me getting in this getting in this thing and driving a thousand miles due south, I'll, I'll do it if I have to. But and we know Florida is very humid. Well, yeah, exactly. Yep, yep. Should get confirmation to deploy here in the next couple of minutes. Sweet. You need the dead truck wheel up there with you need the dead truck up there with the grill oh yeah i don't know if it'll fit donald the dead truck wheel is right there see it it's right there i have it i have it with me and the the direct brake drum from that too <laughs> probably cost less to just fly yeah but there's this thing about flying mank the last time i did it i got a very bad case of covid so i i'll, I'll just drive Gas price is coming down anyway. It's still not good. I wish it was back to where it was, but hey, whatever. Mustang has it. She has it in her. She has a drive down to Florida in her. I know this. I take care of this car very well. Well, the holder that can mount it to the wall. Brimo actually wanted to make that into an end table. Deployment of the satellites confirmed. Hey, nominal Starlink mission, dudes. Not bad. Not bad. Thanks, Alvy. I appreciate that. That's my daily. It's bone stock, dudes. Bone stock. This is exactly how it came from the factory, with the exception of the stereo. The stereo is the only thing that's been upgraded, and even that, that was the previous owner. I, I have a rule about my daily driver. I don't touch it. I don't screw with it. Now, the truck, tough enough. 59, the 59, Freb, and the Coronet, whoa, that's open season. And I actually forgot to tell you guys, I have a line on a 440 for the Coronet for a very, very good price. Is that the one with the 4.6? It's got a 4.6 V8 RB. It's a three valve. So it has two intake valves and one exhaust valve. So it's a three valve and it makes about 300 at the crank. This car is little is old, but it only has 70,000 miles on it. So I don't know. It's probably making 250 to the wheels. I'd probably say oil filter has been changed but it's only swapped out with motorcraft i only dude i keep this thing factory fresh it is factory dealer fresh which is pretty pretty cool i take very good care of this car that's a little baby engine it's a daily driver who cares it makes 250 the wheels but it makes torque for days it's a v8 it makes 300 300 foot pounds probably it probably doesn't even make that to the wheels anymore to be honest but that's my daily driver, dude. I don't care. I got the 5.8 and the 5.0 and uh, the 3.18 for the for the Coronet. I have a 5.2 for the Coronet, a 5.8 for the truck, and a 5.0 for, for the 59. So, What brand of leather conditioner do you use for your casting couch? <laughs> yes. Yeah, RB. Yep, yep. Popping by real quick to say hello and goodbye. All right, right guy. All right, Vortex. See you later, man. Guys, that's going to do it for me. I didn't really plan on putting in like a four-hour stream today, but here we are. We saw static fires. We saw Falcon 9s. There's like a fun little space news. We got garage tours. Wait, is that a microwave? Yeah, Donald. It's a microwave and a Keurig machine. And then I got a fridge over there in case I get thrown out. Mustangs are slow. It's a daily driver, man daily driver who cares of course it's slow but it's a v8 and it's a five speed and it's really nice to drive around i don't care if it's slow <laughs> whatever oh fellas the other thing the other thing i don't know how, yeah the other thing here is that i may or may not have a line on a 68 mustang i'm gonna need i'm gonna need cars to work on for content here hey joe what's going on the video I got from tonight's launch was a little bit more insane. You can see the second stage plume for like two minutes. Nice, nice. I may have a line on some new, some cars, some project cars that we can work on. I got anything from... Dudes, I have lines everywhere because I, I had a feel it, like I had an idea like I could just work on people's cars on for the stream, right? For content for the stream. So I got anything from like a Volkswagen R32 conversion 
GTI R32 conversion uh, to a YJ Jeep for the people that like Jeeps. Uh, I have a, an XJ that we could work on. I have that 68 Mustang that I might have a line on, and I have a pretty good line on a, uh, a pretty good line on a 440 for the Cornet. I'll get back to you on that. My Boston car. Yep, Devlin, I heard Jeep, Jeep, Jeep. Yeah, man. Yeah, should be fun. Anyway, dudes, I have to get up and I have to start figuring out how to frame that garage up. Get a Sherman tank. You want me to buy a tank? Okay. Ooh, when I was driving tough enough down here, I did see an LMTV. I saw an LMTV uh, with a trailer conversion with an M113 on the back. Cough, 73 OBS, cough. 460 Sawyer. 460. No, no diesel. Diesel's too expensive. Maybe a third gen? Or not, that's really up to you, dude. I might have a line on a third gen. Who knows? It depends. If you want to bring that up here. Definitely not for our carcane addiction. No, no. When a fishing stream, you're closer to the water now. Eh, maybe, I don't know. Hey, Linux, thanks for the raid, but I'm I'm logging off, man. Thank you very much for the raid, dude, and thank you for the Venture Star the other day. You're too kind. Anyway, dudes, I'm done for the night. It is very freaking hot in here. But we put in a four-hour four stream. It's good to see you, Linux. Yep. Before I lose you, was there a patch for...